Now to brand new developments at 11 on the deal to raise the debt ceiling tonight with just eight days to go until the country defaults on its bills. It's an out to Congress to get that deal passed. President Biden says there should be new text for the bill sometime this week, and he's confident it'll get to his desk. Christian Benavidez breaks down what is new and what isn't in this new deal. Sorry to keep you waiting. After weeks of wrangling, the White House and House Republican leaders have struck a deal to raise the nation's debt ceiling. There's a lot in here for both sides. President Biden spoke at the White House Sunday afternoon. And the agreement also represents a compromise, which means no one got everything they want. But that's the responsibility of governing. The agreement includes a temporary cap on spending other than for defense, veterans, or entitlements, expands work requirements for some benefit programs, and it claws back some unspent COVID-19 relief funds. But getting the bill through a narrowly divided Congress may not be easy. Some Republicans have already said they're voting no. Well, that's okay, because more than 95% of all those in the conference were very excited. On Fox News Sunday, McCarthy defended the agreement, saying he spoke to minority leader Hakeem Jeffries. The one thing Hakeem told me, there's nothing in the bill for them. There's not one thing in the bill for Democrats. That, in turn, led to questions about whether Jeffries could get Democrats to vote for the deal. I do expect uh, that there will be Democratic support. Jeffrey said the deal avoids a catastrophic default that prevents the economy crashing and from triggering a job-killing recession. Protect Social Security, Medicare, and veterans, and so much more. The Speaker and I made it clear from the start that the only way forward was a bipartisan agreement. Congress is expected to vote on the bill on Wednesday. Christian Benavides, 